Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll be going down Route 9, and I also plan on evolving my Pokemon. So anyways, after you beat the Gym Leader Lieutenant Surge, you come back up through Route 6 here, and you have to travel all the way back to Cerulean City. Now, this can be annoying, so I'm actually going to go ahead and cut once we make it back into Cerulean City. Okay, I have made it back in Cerulean City, and before we actually go to Route 9, I actually want to go ahead and pick something up here. Now, make sure, before you actually go do this, in Vermilion City there was a bike voucher we got a few episodes ago, and now we're able to get our bike, so you just go into the bike shop again, and you hand it to the person at the counter, and he'll hand you over a bicycle over the counter for some reason. They don't move, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and put my bike and I'm going to register it right now. If you guys want to follow along, you can do that. Or if you want to keep your um, town map here like we did during, I think, like, the first episode, you can keep that. But I love keeping the bicycle registered just because you move faster than running and walking. And it's nice to move faster in Pokemon games because sometimes walking around can get a little bit annoying. So it's good to be able to have a little more speed here. So... East of Cerulean City, there will be a tree here that you'll have to cut down, and I'm going to go ahead and just do that, and we're going to fight this trainer here. So, this is going to be a Picnicker, I'm pretty sure, and she's going to have four Pokemon on her team. She's going to have two Oddishes, level 18, uh, two Bellsprouts, which are also level 18, so uh, we shouldn't have too much trouble in this battle. We do have Robin if we really have trouble with some of our Pokemon right here, and I'm at, speaking of Robin, I'm actually going to switch out into him right here. Um, I have to get my Chaotic to level up to level 22 so he does evolve, but I don't think he could take out Grass types, so we're not going to worry about that. And I'm actually going to go for a Peck right here. This should be able to take out the Oddish one shot, which it does. We are level 31 compared to its level 18, so I wouldn't expect anything more from Robin right here. Um, so we're going to switch out once again. I do Again, I do want to get my Chaotic up to level 22 so we can get that Sand Slash and we won't have to really... Uh, keep doing this in battle anymore. I do have to level grind after that, but I didn't want to evolve him off screen just so you guys could actually see him evolve. I always like doing that. I don't like evolving my Pokemon when I'm not recording. But we're just going to go for some more pecs here. And on this route, there are a lot of trainers, so make sure you bring lots of potions so you don't have to go back and forth through the route. I actually don't know. Actually, yeah, there's a way out to get. A way to get out of this road. I thought you got like blocked in once you made it through the entrance, but the, you have to go like around. It's a little bit annoying to find the exit to this route if you have to go heal up. At the end of the route, though, there will be a Pokemon Center, so if all your Pokemon are almost dead, don't worry about healing up before you go into the next part of the game. You can just heal up at that Pokemon Center, which is quite nice. I actually like how they did that. It gives a chance, gives you a chance to heal up before the next part, and you don't have to bother even running back to the Cerulean City Pokemon Center. So Robin's going to take down that last Pokemon, and I didn't exactly want to keep switching out between Chaotic just because it got a little bit annoying. And if you come down here, they'll actually be, I think this is Aerial Ace? Yes it is. So we're going to teach that to my Pokemon real quick, uh, Robin. We're going to go in TM Case right here, and there are actually a f few moves that I actually want to teach some of my Pokemon. I was going to teach Brick Break to my chaotic but then I thought that there's a Pokemon that I kind of want and I thought it would fit on him a little more just just a little more so I'm gonna go ahead and teach us the Robin right here aerial ace and we're actually gonna get rid of pursuit or not pursuit uh, leer here just because I don't know I really don't like leer it's not that useful it can be here and there but other than that it's better just to have another attacking move and I didn't want to get rid of fury attack because Fury Attack can come in handy sometimes. So I think our Chaotic might be able to handle this next trainer right here. Uh, he has a high carry. He's going to have two Pokemon on his team. A level 20 Machop and a level 20 Onix. So again, I'm pretty sure Chaotic should be able to handle this with, with Dig. And I don't know if I taught Chaotic Dig off screen or on screen. But I taught him Dig. And it's actually a super good move. So if you have a Ground type, make sure you teach it to your Pokemon. Uh, you do probably, you will probably get Earthquake or something on Dugtrio, Sandshrew, um, any ground type in the game, I'm pretty sure, later on. 
but having dig at the moment is still pretty useful and you can even use dig to go back to the most recent pokemon center that you were at so that's nice too and chaotic finally goes up to level 22 i knew he was going to be able to take all this much off and onyx is going to come out now um i kind of want to switch into roshi now just because i want to get him to evolve as well as well maybe we can get a double evolution i don't think that's going to be possible because roshi is still pretty far off from leveling up here but Nevertheless, we're gonna switch out here. Roshi can't do anything with tackle, and Splash does not none, no damage whatsoever. So we're not gonna bother with that, and we're just gonna go for a dig. Onyx should be able to get taken out in around two of shots. Onyx being a rock type and also a ground type, so ground types are super effective against rock types. And yeah, two shots. We'll go for one more dig here, and. It should be in the battle. So I'm kind of happy that we got our Chaotic up to uh, Sandslash. It's a super good ground type. If you want a fast, uh, super decent attacking at least, um, ground type, it's definitely an option. Um, it's nice to have ground Pokemon on your team just because if you don't, you'll have some problems here and there with electric types. Uh, mostly if you have a flying type and a water type on my team. So I'm going to be quiet here while Chaotic evolves. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Chaotic evolved into Sand Slash. Nice, we finally got a good ground type on our team. Now I'm going to switch out of Chaotic right here, and I'm actually going to switch into Roshi, because I want to get both these Pokemon to evolve this episode. Um, actually, before we do that, we're going to go up here and fight some more trainers, because there are a lot of trainers in this route, and it's kind of weird the way the, this route is laid out. Uh, it can get a little bit confusing here and there, but if you follow along what I do, then you shouldn't have too much trouble in it. So, this trainer right here is going to send out a Growlithe, and Growlithe... We could take out this Growlithe with Roshi, but it would take a lot of tackles, and I don't really feel like doing that, so... I think I'm gonna switch into Chaotic here. Chaotic does need a few more levels, and we will be super effective. Ground types are super effective against Fire types, so... That's... that's nice. Just going to go for a dig right here. The most annoying part, it... Dig is a good ground move, or... yeah, ground type move, but... The annoying part is, it takes two turns to actually get through it, and... Are my battle animations not on? I think I just realized that. I should probably turn those back on. I forgot about that. Uh, probably I took off... It's a good way to level grind if you're level grinding. Make sure to turn off battle animations. That's what I did. So, I forgot to turn them back on. That's my mistake. I probably should have done that before the episode, but it's not like it really matters. So, we defeated Chris right there, and we got 420. Oh, damn. 420, guys. Such a good meme. And where... Okay, options. I actually almost forgot where to turn on battle animations right here. So, battle scene's on, and we can continue down this road now. Now, the next battle we're going to have right here is a Picnicker. Going to have a Beedrill and another Beedrill, actually. So, two Beedrills, both level 19. I don't think our... Because Beedrill... No, Beedrill's a bug poison type, I'm pretty sure. So, I thought he, he was a flying type for a second, but... Pretty sure he's not, so... Chaotic should be able to take this thing out in around maybe one shot actually. Beedrill is one of those really frail Pokemon that are only good during the first and second gym. Um, more so just, more so yeah, just the first gym. Uh, it's not like he's going to be doing that much anyways. It's just not a good Pokemon in general to pick up. Just because it's super frail, it doesn't have the greatest speed, doesn't have the greatest attacking stat in the world. But he got a Mega Evolution which is nice in Pokemon Noir so that's an upside. And we got a critical hit. I don't think that mattered, but it might have. Chaotix is going to get a few more EXP points here, and I'm actually going to switch back out into Roshi here. I def definitely, definitely, definitely want a Gyarados. Um, waiting for that big time. We've been waiting actually, I think, four-ish episodes now, maybe even five. So, this might be the fifth episode. But, Roshi's going to evolve this, maybe this battle, hopefully, or after this battle, which would be nice. Going to get hit by Fury Attack. Not going to do much damage because we are ground. And we have 
Well, not because we're ground, but we do have decent defense, that's what I meant to say. Uh, usually ground types have super good defense, but Beedrill, like I said before, doesn't have the greatest attacking side in the world, so he's not going to be doing that much anyways. And you hit four times. That last hit kind of seemed a little bit delayed. I don't know, maybe, maybe I wasn't focusing too hard, but it looked a little bit too delayed for that last hit. He's gonna hit three times, and this should be the end of the turn. Should we poison sting him? Let's just do it. Just because why not? I don't even know if this will kill. Okay, yeah. I want to poison sting it. I want to give that B drill a taste of his medicine. So Roshi's gonna go up to level 20 right here, and Chaotic's gonna go up to level 23. No, he's not, but we did defeat Brent, and now our Roshi is gonna evolve, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Our team is definitely, definitely looking powerful at this point. I'm super happy about that. But anyways, after you beat that dragon, come over here and you can pick up an ether, which is nice. And okay, stupid Pokemon. Oh, he's getting in our way, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we already fought that trainer. What am I doing? No, I can't control the bike. Okay, there we go. So yeah, our team is looking pretty powerful. And once you actually go through that little part and get that ether, come up to here and fight this... Um, Bug Catcher, which will have a few bugs on his team, of course. Um, don't expect anything less from these guys. We are going to use our Roshi for the first time. I feel like Roshi will be able to take out these Caterpies. And look at that Gyarados. Gyarados is so, such a good Pokemon to have. Uh, super good water type. I recommend picking one up if you want to. Definitely definitely one of my favorite water types in the game, that's for sure. But Besides Totodile, but uh, Totodile was my first Pokemon, so... That is why he's my first. So, this Caterpie right here is just going to go for String Shots. That's fine. going to take him out in two bites or so. I think after this episode, I will level grind Roshi up to a higher level. And also Sandshrew just because... Or Sandslash now, actually. Just because they won't be doing that much damage to actual stronger Pokemon. They could they could take out bugs and stuff. But then when it comes to other Pokemon, um, they might have some troubles here and there. And I definitely want to level them up because... They're going to be some of the powerhouses on my team. Um, beside Venusaur, actually most of my Pokemon are going to be powerhouses, but Gyarados is definitely one of those Pokemon that has a decent attack stat and a pretty decent speed stat. He's usually a sweeper, so you could use him as a support mom, but it just doesn't work as well. But Weedle right here is going to keep using sand String Shot, and Roshi's speed keeps falling over and over again. At this point, they're faster than us, which is kind of sad. A giant fish that looks like he has a bunch of mobi mobility is uh, slower than a little bug that can only move like half a centimeter every five seconds. So I'm going to switch into Robin now. It looks like Roshi's not really doing that much damage to these guys, and I just want to get through these bugs, because fighting bugs ain't the funnest thing in the world, that's for sure. Um, we should be able to take this out in one shot, yeah. Robin's always taking out those bugs with its peck. Peck, one of the weakest moves in the game too, so... Uh, bugs aren't really the strongest Pokemon in the game. So, we're gonna take that, that bug catcher, and I don't know if there's a trainer over here, no. I think we already fought him. Maybe we didn't actually. No, we did not. So this is gonna be a Picnicker. Picnicker Drew, and he's gonna have a Rattata level 19, uh, two Stantrys, which are level 19, and also an Ekans, which is level 19. So, a pretty decent team, definitely easy or harder than the last team we versed with all of those bugs. And one other thing I really love about Gyarados is, is his ability, it's Intimidate, and Intimidate can be pretty useful if you're coming up against, I don't know, a Machamp or something, because you lower its attack and then you've got an easy advantage over it, just because your attack is going to be higher, he's not going to be doing much damage because his attack is lowered and you're just gonna have an easier time all together mostly again if you're fighting a fighting type like Machamp uh, you're also a flying type now because when Magikarp evolves he turns into a flying type when he turns into Gyarados and you're gonna be resisting fighting types and they're gonna have a lower attack stack which is which is nice now I'm not gonna teach Robin here in your move just because not really the greatest move in the world to have on Fero. 
Um, usually you just want to have attacking moves on him. Uh, maybe some support moves, but like, I don't know, Leer or something, but nothing really too big. So Robin is just going to keep taking out these Pokemon. Easy with Aerial Ace and Peck. I love Robin. Robin's such a good Pokemon. Fero in general. I say he's every episode, I think, but he's definitely a better Pokemon than Pidgeot in my opinion. Even though he only has two evolutions, but still. Definitely, I think he has better stats altogether. I don't know for sure, though. So, he's going to send out a Sanchu as his last Pokemon. Aerial Ace should be able to take him out. And no, it's not. He's going to live with a little bit of HP. I thought we one-shot the last Sanchu, but I guess not. Maybe the stats are a little bit different on each of these Pokemon. But, we're going to take down that trainer right there, and we defeated Camper Drew. So, there's not that much left on this route. Um, you shouldn't have too much trouble with it. After you beat that trainer, uh, come over here, and I actually want to pick up an item if we're going to be able to. Nice, okay. So, it looks like we will be able to. Um, I don't know if I should have fought the other trainers before. We might be forced to go on to the next part, but if so, I'll just cut the video and I'll try to make it back to... Uh, my last point, the last point where we were, so we can fight the rest of the trainers, and you can see what you guys uh, come up against, or if you guys want to get more XP, that, that can be an option too. So, Roshi actually can't really do anything to this Geodude, and I'm not confident that our Chaotic will live any more turns, so we're definitely not going to stay in there. So, Rock Throw, not going to do that much, and I actually don't know if we've used Venusaur yet. I think we might have used him last episode, but not too much, so it's nice using our starter once again at its final evolution. Super strong Pokemon. So, he's going to send out an Onyx next, and this is going to be his last Pokemon, level 21. Ooh, this battle, though, I don't think it's going to be too hard, but we haven't versed a level 21 Pokemon from a trainer in uh, quite a while. I think the last one was in the gym, but... Well, besides the Geodude we fought before, but I mean like a stronger Pokemon, not like a Geodude or a Rattata. So anyways, if you come over here, you can pick up a Burn Heal. You might not need that at the start of the game, but definitely will need it later on in the game when you first more Fire types. So it looks like we won't have to cut the video, but we're going to fight this Hiker right here. And this Hiker actually has three Pokemon on his team. Uh, one extra than the other Hikers on this route. He has a... Two Geodudes actually, which are level 20, and then a Machop, which is level 20. So, I'm not going to stay in once again with uh, Roshi. I think I might actually switch out a different Pokemon in front, just so we don't have to keep doing this. It is nice that Roshi's getting levels here and there, but we could just level grind if we really need that. So, Geodude's going to miss his Rock Throw, nice. Don't need to take the unnecessary damage, and Vine Whoop should be able to take out this Geodude right here in one shot. Uh, again... If you uh, have some troubles in this route, just make sure to pick up some potions and stuff so you don't have to run back uh, to the Pokemon Center and back to the trainers. Again, that gets a little bit annoying, even though you have the bike now, so it won't take as long, but just still. Um, I recommend stocking up on potions, but you should, again, you shouldn't have too much troubles in this route. Uh, pretty easy Pokemon. The only Pokemon that I really think you would have troubles with is maybe the Growlithe and maybe the Onix on this route that we fought earlier, actually. So. He's going to send out Machop now, and I don't know if Machop will actually die in one shot. Yeah, he's going to live with a little bit of HP. Focus energy, he's wasted a move, man. I know you get critical hits and all, but now you're dead, so Machop's going to go down. And I don't think Light Bulb will go up a level, though. That's fine, because we are a final evolution, and Light Bulb's already a little over-leveled, I would say. I don't know for sure, though. I think he's a decent level right now, but... Before we continue on here, if you come over to here, I thought I had to click A for a while, you'll actually find a rare candy, which is a pretty useful item, and we fought that trainer already. How do we get over here? We go over here. I almost got confused as to which way we're going. This is what I mean by this road can get a little bit annoying here and there. And I actually think we might have missed an item, which I think I might go back for. Um, I don't know for sure though. It was a Chesto Berry, which can be pretty useful, actually, if you have rest on Pokemon. So I think I'll go back for it after we beat this Meowth. And I'm going to stay in with Roshi this time. I think Roshi will be able to take up this Meowth. Um, Growl, going to lower our attack. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad. Bite is still doing a decent amount of damage. And we got a flinch. Nice. Let's go, Roshi. Bring in the Pain Train. Take out this Meowth. And easy KO for Roshi. Gyarados is such a good Pokemon. And we're almost going to go up a level. Not yet, though. 
Okay, so we're gonna go for this Chesto Berry now. Now, I don't exactly remember where it is. I think it's over here somewhere. Okay, guys, I am back. I actually found it. So, if you come over to this hiker over here, Hiker Bryce, and you go left to him into this middle middle section of this wall right here, you'll actually find it. So, that took me a while to actually find that. The description on the internet wasn't very good, and I actually forgot where it was. I knew there was a chest of beer somewhere, but I actually forgot. So, anyways, I'm going to go in this Pokemon Center and heal up, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I am back, and I'm actually going to end off the episode right here, so if you did enjoy, go ahead and tell me what you liked in the comment section down below, and also tell me what you didn't like, I'd really appreciate the criticism, it helps me improve my channel, helps me improve my videos, so I can entertain you guys and make you guys happier. So anyways, in the next episode, we'll be going down Rock Tunnel, and yeah, remember if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.